Welcome back to your brand knowledge channel. Today we are going to discuss more about Edward, Edward Deming and his 14 principles what he brought and from the book called The Little Book of Big Coaching Model and we are going to discuss from page number 206 all about those 14 points and in the context it says that the uh, you know the Williams Edward Deming 14 points for quality management right and very briefing about Deming, uh, Edward Deming, it says that Deming was one of the most influential advocates of total quality management and it's very common, uh, commonly quote uh, verse from him is that 85% 80, uh, responsible, the managers are 85% responsible whereas worker are only 15% responsible for delivering the great quality of product or service, right? And then the 14 point uh, can be summarized as, I'm going to quote it uh, directly there, have a mission statement that all the managers sign up to. That means uh, every mission a, a statement, every manager should, uh, should believe in it, should work on it and all that. That's the first one. The second is, do not accept the excuses for mistakes, delays, defects and errors. That's the reason it says that do it right at the first time, right? We don't have a room, we don't have excuse for any mistake. Number three, do not depend on mass inspection to improve quality, right? When we increase the sample size, it does not mean that it increase the, the quality of the product, right? So that is also third point. Fourth point, use, use only use supplier who produce good, uh, good and goods and services. That means good quality of product and all that. So the supplier assessment also given high priority. And look for continuous improvement in the process. That is uh, always look for a change, breakthrough in the process and all that. And provide appropriate training for all members of the workforce. The training being emphasized on. Uh, institute uh, participatory, so institute the leadership uh, programs so that everybody can get involved and all that. And develop a climate of trust throughout an organization. And break down the break down the barrier between the department right it doesn't uh, uh, so that's what it's called interlinks one every function have to work independently otherwise what will happen if the function has been working as independently and not connected interconnected what will happen the the misalignment will happen customer complaint will happen and so on right and then further uh, it goes on it says that uh, get rid of the slogans and get rid of the workforce targets right have a realistic target but do not uh, enforce and uh, uh, have an unrealistic target and do not use arbitrary quotas that interfere with the quality right and remove barrier that prevents people from having the pride in their work and encourage continuing professional de development for everyone that means everyone have to up his skill lastly get everyone commitment to all uh, to implementing the above point that is 13 point right totally 14 point we have that's what I wanted to cover from this very book. Although this book is not meant to be a quality book and it's not related to quality management system, but I find it very useful uh, to have this, uh, you know, the content from the uh, coming from this book. Thank you so much. Have a good day.